Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Gisasa tutorial on the removal of restriction application process. A successfully registered restriction is a prerequisite for this application. A restriction is a regulation imposed on a parcel by the registrar to prevent certain dealings on a parcel of land, for example, to prevent transactions due to suspected fraud. Removal of restriction is the deregistration of a registered restriction by the applicant. This application is initiated by making an application for the removal of restriction with the land registrar or through a court order instructing the registrar to remove the restriction. A restriction can also be removed when the affected proprietor applies for its removal to the court. Upon notice to the registrar, the court orders the removal of the restriction as it deems fit. An advocate on behalf of the applicant initiates this application. Kindly know that all processes that attract a payment on Ardesasa will have a system-generated invoice as well as the accepted payment channels to be used. As such, you should not make any additional payments to facilitate the processing of your application. To begin with, you will log into the platform. Key in your Ardesasa ID or national ID, enter your password, and then click Continue. Upon doing so, you will be provided with a one-time password code which will be sent to the phone number you used to register with on the platform. Once you have received the OTP, type the code onto the OTP prompt box and then click Login. The account you are logged in with is your private account by default. For you to initiate this process, you will need to switch to your advocate account. So, go ahead and click on the profile icon. It will display a drop-down menu with the professional account which has been approved for you as an advocate. Click on it to switch from your private to your professional account. For more information on how to upgrade to a professional account, check out our YouTube videos through the link featured in this video's description. On the dashboard, navigate to the Land Registration section and click on View More. Here, you will find various services under the Land Registration section including Search, Caution, Charge and several others. Click on Restriction and you'll be navigated to the applications offered under this service, which include restriction, variation of restriction, and removal of restriction. Therefore, go ahead and click on the removal of restriction. Upon doing so, you'll be navigated to the applications page. This page lists all removal of restriction applications. The lists are categorized depending on the level of processing of the application. We have five tabs, namely pending, ongoing, completed, cancelled, and rejected. The pending tab features applications that you have initiated but still need some action from your side or from the parties involved in the application. The actions will include signing, OTP verification, or payment of invoices. The ongoing tab features applications you have submitted and is being processed by the State Department of Lands officials. The completed tab features successful applications that have been registered by relevant officials. The Cancel tab features applications that have been done away with by different parties involved in the process. Lastly, the Rejected tab features applications that have been rejected for one reason or another. The reasons will be communicated to you on the application. For you to initiate this application, click on the New Application button on the top right hand corner. You then be navigated to the frequently asked questions related to this process. You can go ahead and explore the FAQs to familiarize yourself with the application aspects such as the actors and requirements needed for this application process. If satisfied, go ahead and click on Next. You'll be navigated to the Application Details page. Here, you'll be required to enter the proprietorship details. Kindly note that the fields that have an asterisk sign alongside them are mandatory fields to fill failure to which you will not be able to submit your application. First, you'll be required to key in the parcel details. Go ahead and enter the parcel number as stated in your ownership document. The next part is the restriction entry number. Go ahead and enter the entry number as stated in the notice of the restriction document. The last part is the applicant's details. Here, you are required to enter the Arsasa ID of the person interested in the removal of the restriction. Once you have entered the Ardsasa ID, click on the search button. A pop-up box will appear 
requiring you to select the category of the person to execute as the applicant. It can either be the applicant executing on his or her own behalf or an attorney executing on their behalf. If you choose the attorney option, you'll key in the power of attorney entry number in the format registry forward slash the entry number forward slash month of registration forward slash year of registration. Click on the search button and the power of attorney entry number will be listed underneath the search bar along with his or her name and accessor ID. If the accessor ID does not feature, it means the attorney has not transacted on a accessor. Therefore, you will be required to enter the accessor ID of the said attorney and then click on save. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will choose the self option and then click on the save button. Upon doing so, the name of the applicant will be listed below and the name of the person executing on their behalf will be listed on the right. Kindly note that if you wish to change the applicant you picked for one reason or another, you can click on the remove button and then you can enter the correct accessor ID. Proceed and click on next. The next section is the restriction details. First, you are required to enter the grounds for removal of restriction. This is a justification for the deregistration of a restriction. So, proceed to enter the reasons in the text box provided. In our case, the restriction place was subject to a case of fraud. As such, the reason for the removal of the restriction is the lack of sufficient evidence in the registered case of fraud. Click on Add and the reason will be displayed beside the text box. The next part is the additional details. Here, you will enter the additional details that the removal of restriction is subject to, if any. For example, the removal of restriction is subject to a court ruling held on the 5th of March 2023. Lastly, is the law firm details. Here, you need to provide the details of the law firm that you are acting under. You have the option of either tying the application to a registered law firm on a resursa or manually keying in the details. The first option requires you to type in the accessor ID of the law firm and then click on search. The law firm details will then be automatically populated. In our case, we will manually key in the law firm details. You will need to enter the name, physical address and the postal address of the law firm. You will also need to enter the phone number and email address of the law firm. As far as the website and street address are concerned, they are not mandatory fields to fill. If satisfied with the law firm details, go ahead and click on Next. You will be navigated to the Documents page where you will upload the necessary documents to your removal of restriction application. For example, a court ruling document for the removal of restriction. A point to note is that the document should be either in the format PDF, PNG or JPEG. If you wish to upload a document, do so in the following steps. Enter the name of the document and then click on the Choose File button to upload a scanned copy of the document you wish to upload from your local machine or device. Afterwards, the document will be listed on the right. If you are satisfied with the documents you have submitted to facilitate the application process, you can proceed and click on Next. The last step is the confirmation of all the details that you have provided. Scroll through the entire page and go through the details. You have the option of going back if you need to edit any information. If satisfied, go ahead and click on Submit. Upon doing so, you'll be prompted to approve whether you indeed want to submit the request. Go ahead and click on Yes. You will then get a confirmation message on a pop-up box that affirms that the application has been submitted successfully. Click on Close. At this point, the applicant and the advocate will all get a notification via SMS as well as email communicating that the removal of restriction application process has been initiated. Kindly know that you can view the progress level of your application on the green progress bar upon submission of your application. Subsequently, the advocate and the applicant will be notified to execute on the application with a signature and confirmed representation by either accepting or rejecting the application. Therefore, the next step is application verification. Here, the advocate is expected to accept or reject representation for the party involved. Proceed to the execution section and click on accept. Upon doing so, you will be prompted to accept whether you want to represent or reject the party. 
When the advocate selects reject, the applicant will be required to add another advocate using their accessor ID. In this case, we are going to represent the applicant. Therefore, go ahead and click on accept. Immediately you click on close, the party involved will be notified that the advocate has accepted to represent him or her in the removal of the restriction application process. The next part is the add signature section. Here, the advocate is required to append their signature. There are a number of options on how to append their signature on Ardhisasa. The common one is this signing area here. It allows you to sign in with your computer mouse if you are using a desktop or a laptop. Alternatively, you can use a stylus pen or index finger if you are using a phone or tablet to access the platform. When you click on the link below the signing area, a pop-up box will appear displaying other four alternative options for signing. For more information on the available signing options on Abdesasa, kindly view our YouTube tutorial explaining the same through the link featured in this video's description. In this case, the advocate will sign in the signing area. He or she will place the cursor on the blank space, press and hold the left click button and then go ahead and append the signature. If not pleased with it, there is the option of removing it by clicking on clear and then appending the signature again to their liking. If satisfied with it, he or she will click on save. There is a pop-up notification that will appear requiring you to affirm that you want to submit this as your signature. Click on yes and the signature status will change to signed. It is key to note that the advocate must be in communication with the party involved throughout the verification process for ease of operations. The next part will be the application verification by the applicant. Once the applicant has logged in, he or she will navigate to the land registration department, click on restriction, and select the removal of restriction process to view the application. On opening the application, an OTP prompt box will be displayed with a Get OTP button alongside it. It is important to note that Below the OTP prompt box is a disclaimer for the party involved. It instructs him or her to only enter the OTP code if he or she authorizes the application made on his or her behalf by the advocate involved in the process. So, if the individual is aware of the process and approves it, he or she will click on the Get OTP button and an OTP code will be sent to the phone number that he or she used during the registration. After receiving the OTP code, the individual will then key in the exact code received onto the OTP prompt box and click on the verify button. Upon doing so, a pop-up box will appear affirming the successful verification. So he or she will go ahead and click on close. The applicant will then navigate to the add signature section where he or she will be required to append the signature. In doing so, the applicant has completed the execution by consenting on the application. Once all the parties have signed, the submit button will be active on the advocate's account. So go ahead and click on it. A pop-up box will appear affirming the successful verification. Immediately you click on submit, the application will transition to the ongoing tab. Therefore, navigate to the ongoing tab to view the application we have just submitted. Click on the view button and you will see the application has progressed to the land registration department staff. Immediately after the application is approved, the applicant and the advocate will receive a text notification informing them of the same. On the applications page, the process has transitioned to the completed tab. Click on view to navigate to the application details page. As you can see, the progress level is 100%, meaning the removal of restriction application has been successfully approved. An entry has also been made on the register indicating further particulars of the restriction. At this point, all the parties involved will be notified that the removal of restriction has been placed on the specified parcel of land and the notice of removal of restriction form LRA 79 has been availed in their respective Abdusasa accounts. To access the notice, click on the Documents tab. Under Process Documents, click on the Download button to view and download the document. That's it for this tutorial on removal of restriction on Ardesasa. Feel free to give feedback on this tutorial in the comment section below. Also, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to get notification on new videos as and when we post them. Kindly follow us on our social media handles as well at Ardisasa underscore KE on Twitter and Instagram and at Ardisasa on Facebook. Thanks for watching and goodbye.